A mother bear and her two young cubs must find a way to outlast the crushing Indian dry season. But even if they can, will they just be leaping from the frying pan into the fire? Almost the end of a three-month hot dry season. Ambling through this jagged and barren landscape is a remarkable creature. Bibi is an eight-year-old sloth bear. She's out in the sweltering heat, searching for breakfast. Standing three feet tall at the shoulder and weighing in at 200 pounds, she's just two-thirds the size of a female American grizzly. But she's strong for her size. She's easily able to turn over large rocks and even small boulders. This morning, she's looking for insects, which make up most of her diet. Sloth bears are normally solitary and forage at night, but Bibi is out in the day for a very particular reason. She's a mother. Eight months ago, at the end of the last monsoon season, she gave birth to twins. They were born naked and blind, and each weighed only one pound. She nursed them and kept them in the safety of a cave for the first two months. Once they were old enough, they began venturing out with their mother into her territory during the day. Sloth bears can be extremely aggressive and territorial. By avoiding going out at night, Bibi reduces the risk of running into other sloth bears, particularly adult males who could easily kill a cub. The family's daytime forays also lessen the chance of running into larger predators, like tigers and leopards, an even bigger danger to her infants. Bibi is raising her cubs in the Daroji Reserve in the Indian state of Karnataka. Along the coast run the Western Ghats, a vast ridge of mountains that directly influence the weather far inland. From May to September, the mountains capture moisture-laden winds coming from the Arabian Sea, forming clouds which burst inland during the monsoon. These annual rains are a lifeline in a landscape dominated by deciduous scrub and thorn forests, which for the rest of the year lies dry and parched. In this harsh environment, Bibi has chosen a great place to base her family. Her mile-square home range is centered around a small clearing with rocky outcrops. With groundwater close to the surface, it's a fertile oasis even now, towards the end of the dry season. It's a refuge that hasn't gone unnoticed by other mothers on the plains. Living here all year round, these bonnet macaques and their infants know the best spots to find food. Using their sensitive fingers, they explore everything. Picking up leaves, grasses, fruits and insects. They stuff their cheek pouches. These allow them to carry their meal to a safe place to enjoy later. And also keeps their hands free for a quick getaway, which is often necessary. Dining al fresco makes them easy targets for predators. Bibi is no threat to the monkeys. She's more gatherer than hunter.
After the last monsoon, the family made the most of the fruiting trees. More than three quarters of their diet was this delicacy. But by May, the fruit has almost disappeared. Luckily for Bibi, during lean times, she can adapt. She and her cubs specialize in eating ants and termites. At this time of year, 90% of their diet is made up of these abundant insects. Termites are a highly specialized form of cockroach. Social animals, they live in vast colonies, sometimes millions strong. But their nests can exist far underground and can be as hard as concrete. Made from feces, soil and partly digested plant material, they are glued together with saliva. Not an easy barrier for any animal to get past. What's more, the ground here is covered in boulders. So how's a hungry bear to find the termites and then get at them? Fortunately for Bibi and her cubs, Sloth bears have a technique for that. Equipped with an acute sense of smell, they can detect termites three feet underground. Once Bibi finds the entrance, even 100-pound rocks aren't much of a problem. But now that she's uncovered the nest, she has to open it. Three-inch curved claws on her front paws are perfectly shaped for digging through even rock-hard termite nests. With these formidable tools, a hairless snout and long, flexible lips, she can access a rich food supply that others can't. Blowing off the dirt, she sucks up the bugs like a vacuum cleaner. By watching their mother, her young cubs learn exactly how to do it for themselves. Sloth bears are so well adapted to this diet that they're missing their two front teeth so they can suck and snuffle more efficiently. They can even close their nostrils on demand to stop insects from crawling into their nose. There doesn't seem to be anything slothful about these sloth bears. At just eight months old, the cubs aren't yet strong enough to lift the large rocks or dig for themselves. But Bibi will supplement their diet by nursing them for at least another four months. So as long as there's enough food, Bibi can provide all the milk her cubs need. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.